Hey, are you looking for someone special to join you in your adventures? Perhaps you're in search of excitement, passion, romance, a girlfriend, maybe? If so, I have the ultimate list for you. Here are my top girlfriends for girls in video games. Dr. Liara Tassoni, Mass Effect. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. Ha! You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. Starting this video off with my blue wife and one of the best romances I have experienced in gaming. Liara is only one of the many romance options in the Mass Effect trilogy, but the connection and overall chemistry between her and Shepard is undeniable. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship, and I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although he did ask if you and I would be acting out scenes from some vid called Vanya. Of course he did. Liara is by her side throughout all three games. This all ends tomorrow. What happens to us? I don't know. Marriage, old age, and a lot of little blue children. You just say these things. An Asari researcher with a brilliant mind, powerful biotic right. capabilities to aid you on the battlefield and a love for your shepherd that will surely make you melt. Come on! Shepard! You gotta get out of here. I'm all right, Shepard. Don't argue with me, Liara. You're not leaving me behind. No matter what happens, you mean everything to me, Liara. You always will. Chloe Price, Life is Strange. Life is Strange is a game that I hold very dear to my heart, and I have to say that Chloe had a lot to do with it. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. Booyah! Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Girls, ooh la la. You play as Max Caulfield, a shy photographer who discovers that she can rewind time. But when you're suddenly reunited with your best friend Chloe after five years, it's almost like no time has passed at all. The town is in danger and you only have a week to save it together, but that's more than enough time for this blue haired punk to steal your heart. Photo bomb. Photo hog. See what I did there? <laughs> Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Chloe is ready for whatever is to come, and she'll always have your back. Fuck all that, okay? 
okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me. Which had to happen. All of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this joy. No, Max. You're the only one who can. And there's also an ending where you can drive off into the sunset together because fuck that town. And I do it again. Hold up. Steph Gingrich, Life is Strange, True Colors. Speaking of Life is Strange, I couldn't not mention Steph. Everyone's favorite dungeon master, Steph made her debut in Life is Strange Before the Storm. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. In True Colors, you run into Steph, who is now a DJ at the local record store and radio station. Trust me when I say that it won't take long for you to want to put a ring on it. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Steph is just that perfect combo of nerdy and adorable. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? She'll accompany Alex on her journey in Haven Springs. Put on a LARP for you and the town to participate in. Flirt with you over foosball. Hey, so are you into girls or what? Give you a rooftop kiss that's sure to knock you off your feet. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. She even has her own DLC where you get to play as her and take on the role of radio DJ. How cool is that? Are you serious? Judy Alvarez, Cyberpunk 2077. The world of Cyberpunk is dark, it is bleak, yet Judy is like a ray of sunshine. All right. That was the plan on the lock. And you made it happen. Thank you. See you later. One of the characters that you meet early on during your stay in Night City, Judy is a gifted brain dance editor, a highly skilled techie, and a proud member of the Mox. A small gang made up of outcasts for the purpose of self-defense, community, and standing up against their oppressors. It isn't surprising that Judy is passionate about fighting against injustice and protecting her own. If you were to sell that, be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. Only romanceable by female V, Judy's a canon lesbian, and her fierce attitude makes her romance all the more memorable. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Whoa, can you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet waiting for the right occasion. She also has one of the best storylines in the game. She'll take you scuba diving can now hang out at your apartment and will always let you know who's boss. Dina, The Last of Us Part Two. Can I ask you a question? 
a girl who will hold you down. Dina is a real one, and Ellie's major crush on her is justified. Ellie, are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Deal. Cool. The apocalypse may be brutal and unforgiving, and Ellie's story in part two revolves mainly around revenge and sacrifice. Yet Dino's role as her best friend and girlfriend is one of the most beautiful aspects about the game. It is obvious from the very first encounters with Dina that she cares deeply for Ellie. A true ride or die, Dina's willingness to follow Ellie on what is no doubt the hardest journey of their lives, her loyalty and genuine acts of love throughout Ellie's story, makes her and Ellie's romance one of the best examples of representation out there. Oh, fuck ya! Yeah. I love this song. Your mom is very easy to please. I'm with you, my bar is very low. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at those moves. These moves? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at Mama go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of working on me. You're weird. I'm aware. Okay. Okay, you're distracting me. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Go. Okay. Hopefully we'll get a satisfying conclusion to their story and the highly anticipated The Last of Us Part 3. Absolute cuties. There. Now it's official. Violet, The Walking Dead, Season 4. Speaking of apocalypse girlfriends, Violet from The Walking Dead is a fantastic choice. It takes time for her to warm up to you. Bye. What? Just saying. I don't think we've met. I'm Clementine. Yeah, I know. Your kid won't stop talking about you. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. But it's worth it when she finally does. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Um, oh, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too. Not there against those walkers. Violet's past is a complicated one as she lost her girlfriend Minnie not too long ago. The walls she puts up are meant to protect her from further hurt. But over the course of four episodes, Clementine and Violet become closer than ever. I wish it was me. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Uh, I think. I mean, I hope. We're all more than friends. And I want. Holy shit. That's romantic. I mean, holy shit. Stars? So you never forget that night? I never will. Although there are three seasons beforehand to get to Vi's story, it's worth it to see our baby girl all grown up, holding her own, being a leader, and finding love in the unlikeliest of places. Carlock, Baldur's Gate 3. Fuck yes! Now, I might be slightly biased towards Carlock. <gasps> A circus! Can we go? Oh! It's so cute! <laughs> oh god! 
but <laughs> there's a reason why she's my number one video game romance of all time. A barbarian with a heart of gold, Karlak is one of the greatest characters in gaming today, with a romance sure to make you swoon. Hmm. Maybe I like slow after all. So, um, can I kiss you now? From the moment you meet her, Karlak is upfront about who she is, what she needs, and wears her heart on her sleeve in the best possible way. Ten years ago, I was sold to the Archdevil Zariel. She put a hellfire engine in my chest and made me her prized soldier. Despite all that she's endured during her decade in the Hells, she refuses to lose her spark. She's free now, and there's a lot of lost time to make up for I it. can take on anything. I've got my chance at freedom, and believe me, I'm going home. With burning desire and so much love to give, Karlak's romance is beautiful, exhilarating, incredibly rewarding, and one that will stick with you long after the credits roll. Really, no. I hope you know that I'm yours. Completely. And I'd like to take you to bed now. She's an absolute powerhouse. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. So <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. I, I mean, it's an honor, milady. The definition of compassionate. Stand by me if you need to keep warm in this awful place. The ultimate golden retriever girlfriend of your dreams. I love you too! <laughs> oh my god! I've been dying to say that. <laughs> and will take you on the cutest date ever. But to be here with you in the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask for. You hear me? You're all I could ever ask for. I love you. And I know that whatever else this city will throw at us, we can handle it. I adore her with all my heart. Hmm. Gods be damned. It's a good day to be alive. Alright guys, those are my top girlfriends for girls in video games. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please consider hitting subscribe and leaving a like to support the channel. I would really appreciate it. Also, did I mention one of your favorite romance options in this video? If not, leave me a comment if you want, of course. Uh, tell me your favorite romance option. I'm curious. Enlighten me. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.